Okay, well, sometimes our parametric equations are fairly easy to combine and eliminate the parameter. Sometimes they get harder, particularly when we have trig equations. So let's look at example three. We're going to sketch the graph described by the parametric equations of x equals 5 cosine theta and y equals 5 sine theta. We're going to restrict this to zeros less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. When you have something like this, if you have, if both equations had cosine or sine, but they both had the same trig function, it'd be relatively easy. Could you just solve for that trig function and set them equal to each other? But here we have both sine and cosine. So this is the technique I'm going to use. I'm going to think back to the fact that I know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. First things first, I'm going to square both sides. Actually, I'm going to solve this side for cosine theta. I get cosine theta equals x over 5. And now I'm going to square both sides. I get cosine squared equals x squared over 25. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my y equation. First, I'm going to solve for sine. I get sine equals y over 5. Then sine squared theta equals y squared over 25. Now, I'm going to add my equations. So I get cosine squared plus sine squared equals x squared over 25 plus y squared over 25. Cosine squared plus sine squared theta becomes 1. So I get 1 equals x squared over 25 plus y squared over 25. Okay, I can then rearrange this can multiply both sides by 25. And I get x squared plus y squared equals 25 as my final answer. This is a circle. This is a circle with a center at 0, 0, and a radius of the square root of 25, which is 5. So graphically, center at the origin and a radius would help if I actually went out to 5. There we go. And there is my graph. So this is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And that's the last example for us to look at. We'll see if there's one more just so we can have that additional practice. Let's see. Let's look at one more with sine and cosine and eliminating the parameter. Let's try hmm, x equals 2 cosine theta and y equals 3 cosine theta. And I want you to write this as a single equation by eliminating the parameter. Take a moment, try this one on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to see your solution.